Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today's video will be about this crazy melee build where I use the Worm God Caress, a Glaive, and basically just do tons of damage. This footage was recorded in a high battleground where all enemies are 5 power ahead of me, I'm pretty sure. And as you can see, it still does major damage against things like Barrier, Hive Knights, and Orange Bar enemies. So, yeah, hope you enjoy, and let's get straight into it. Hello, and welcome to another build video. Today we'll be going over the Worm God Caress and the potential it can have when paired with a glaive. This build is basically built around the just high melee damage and I'll just go straight into it. I'm playing Striker with Thunder Crash, Towering Barricade, Catapult Lift, Thunder Clap, Storm Grenade, Touch of Thunder, Knockout, Spark of Shock, Spark of Frequency, Spark of Resistance, and Spark of Feedback. Thunderclap. So, basically, Worm God Caress makes it so melee kills grant bonus damage to your melee. And so the Glaive makes that really easy because back a few twelves ago, Bungie made it so Glaives can pair with exotics. So, therefore, if you get 5 kills with the glaive then you've got times 5 stacks of burning fist which is the worm god caress buff you can add thunderclap to do tons of damage which is why i have thunder thunder thunderclap equipped uh, and striker i mean it's really it's really your decision you could go any subclass with any melee you like. I just went Thunderclap, um, Striker with Thunderclap because Thunderclap just does tons of damage. I went Monte Carlo. Oh. In the footage you won't see I'm, that I'm using Monte Carlo, but if I would say Monte Carlo is a good pick for this build because kills with it reduces your melee cooldown, or dealing damage reduces your melee cooldown, and has a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. So, that's quite nice, just get your melee up just instantly. I went this glaive, the uh, Judgment of Kelgarath, I'm pretty sure you can get one from either the Season Pass or somewhere which has got close to melee and overflow, which is a pretty good roll. This one has got a movable object in close to melee. Close to melee makes it so that glaive projectile final blows improve glaive melee damage. So, here to do with a projectile, get bonus glaive damage, deal tons of damage to enemies, get burning fists. Basically the gist of it. Then just to type in for a fox is just good. Next, uh, on my helmet, I've got a finder sharp shooting it's just because I had another mod slot and will of striking picking up an arc elemental well grants you additional melee energy this is so I can get my melee faster basically this is not a fully melee it is a melee build but it's not infinite melee build it's just so I can get more melee back faster easier um, next, the Worm God Caress. I've got Momentum Transfer, which makes it so causing damage of the grenade reduces your melee cooldown, like what I said before. Less melee cooldown, more melees. And Elemental Charge, which makes it so picking up an Elemental Well makes you charge with light. Then on my chest, I've got Melee Well Maker, so I make wells by punching people. And then on my greaves or legs, I've got Well of Ions, picking up a, another... Picking up an Arc Elemental Well causes your next melee to deal increased damage. This is great. More damage, more kills. Yeah. And then on my mark, I've got Heavy Handed, which makes it so well charged with light, you regain half of your melee energy when you use a charged melee ability. 
which is just to get melee back again and I've got 80 strength to pair up um, upon that. So basically what you want to do with this build, you can use it in multiple ways. You can use it for add clear by just dealing damage to melee and then having an add clear melee you could make it for boss damage like I did, thunderclap plus glaive and burning fist equals tons of damage. So you can yeah, you can use it for anything. So this build, basically what you want to do is get a good glaive and basically you can kill everything with your glaive to get burning fists up or you can just punch everything. Then you get your arc elemental well, increase melee damage, plus the glaive, plus burning fists. So you've got increased melee damage because of the arc elemental well and the mods we have on. You've got the burning fist which grants extra damage and what other whatever like you can weaken the boss whatever. So and then use thunderclap. Therefore it's just tons of damage. It's just it's literally just free damage. It's a lot of damage, easy to use. In endgame PvE I this build I didn't test it in like a Grandmaster for example because they're not open but any like Nightfall or extremely hard activity. This is 5 power above. Heist Battleground is 5 power above you and it still does very well in this activity. So I would say if you can get it's only viable if you can chain the first kill. After you get the first kill there's tons of enemies after you get the first kill against the normal red bar get the second kill, get the third kill, get the fourth kill, get the fifth kill, you've got tons of damage right there tons of damage and you can chain it by killing more enemies getting more damage or staying the exact same after you kill five enemies but you've got you've just got tons of damage and then thunderclap hammer strike any like seismic slam which is the super I have no idea if it can buff supers I'm pretty sure it can't which would be it'd be pretty overpowered if it could and there you just saw that I just one shot a barrier knight which is five freaking power above me with times five burning fists and thunderclap so yeah you can see that it's just it's just very good it's a very good exotic and a very good build because it pairs well everything pairs well and yeah you can just do tons of damage so I mean why not I think if it if you do not if you can't get if you can't kill enemies easily with the glaive in hard activities it's very it, this is a very risky build as well because you have to get up close and personal in the enemy's face to get the build up and running. It's a risk for a reward. So if you're good at the game, if you've got maybe run it on solar, get some restoration up. If you're good and you can survive, this build will be great. If you cannot survive though, if you cannot survive and you take too much damage and you you will die. You'll be up in the enemy's face, you'll be up in everybody's face and you will most likely die. So it's basically your preference. I think this is a very fun build in which you can do tons of damage really easily. But yeah, I will show you the damage numbers on uh, boss in the K1 Communion Lost Sector. So the glaive damage goes from 9687 on base without any buffs to 13,804 with Burning Fist 1, so that's a times 1 buff. This is an increase by around 42%. And then if you go Burning Fist 2, it does 17,920, which is a 29% increase from the first value, from the first Burning Fist value. Then it goes to 25,669 damage, which is a 43% increase from the 17,000. Then, with Burning Fist times 4, 
it goes to 30,997 damage, which is a 20% increase from the previous value. And then with times 5, it goes to 36,324 damage, which is a 17% increase. Now, to calculate percentage increase, you get 100 times the final minus the initial value over the initial value. Which, I mean, you guys can just search up if you want. It It's not very complicated once you get to know it a bit. But then with full Thunder Crash, it does 247,797 damage. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> that is... That's a lot of damage. Therefore, I've just proven to you that this build works. I didn't test it with the addition of the arc well or any anything else, but you can tell that it will do a lot of damage if you pair it with arc well and weaken and anything else. It will do a lot and a lot of damage. And so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this fun build, you could say. And yeah, I hope you s hope to see you in the next video, I guess. Goodbye.